Hello, in this video I'll give you a brief introduction to the radio frequency generator. Let's start with the back panel layout where we can find, the mains power switch, the mains AC power cords connection, USB port, and the foot switch connection which can replace start stop button. Now, let's take a look at the front panel layout. Here are the start and stop buttons for turning on and off the electrode output. This is the illuminated output on indicator when any electrode output is on. Here is the output control knob for manual output ramping. These are four electrode output connections. Over here is the ground pad connection for monopolar mode. And this is the 12 inch touch screen. On the main screen, there is the system setup where we can set the date and time, adjust audio volume, change language, and perform touch screen calibration. To calibrate the touch screen, just press and briefly hold the center of each cross-shaped target, then release your finger and repeat the process when the target moves. When the cross symbol disappears, press anywhere on the screen to return to the system setup. By pressing the records button, we can export, print, review, edit, and delete procedure records saved in the generator. Also, we can enter patient data via the patient database button. Patient names, HC number, notes, etc. can be stored. Start procedure. The generator has two screen interfaces. The one touch, which is simple and digital, and the graphing, which is advanced and graphical. This features a large, color-coded reading. Now, coming to electrode setup, there are two modes, the standard, where we have to connect the ground pad, and the other one is the bipolar, for which you don't have to connect the ground pad. Now, connect the electrode cables to the RF generator as shown in the picture, and then connect the cables to the needles. It offers numerous customization options, including sensory and motor stimulation using the knob or the touch screen. Simultaneous start of radio frequency output and enough power to heat for cannulas at the same time. Also, the widest range of thermal and pulsed RF settings are available. Here in the notes, all procedure readings are automatically stored. And, once we finish our procedure, just press the End Procedure button. 